Welcome back to Segulda in Latvia. It's the season opening race weekend for the BMW IBSF Bobsleigh and Skeleton World Cups. And as ever here in Segulda, double two-man weekend, which means Sunday, a nice crisp, clear day. We go back to our two-man start list. 13 sleds from seven nations. The same drivers with one exception who contested yesterday's race. And the track will be in fine form. 1,200 metres of competitive ice with a 99 metre vertical drop, including the start, which is five storeys up. Start record still held by Oscar's Kiba Manis. That's from when he won both races here in February, a 4.80. He got a 4.81 yesterday from Francesco Friedrich. Very close indeed, but no cigar with Torsten Margis. Maybe possibly a chance of breaking that today. You go very quickly into turns one and two, and then the first labyrinth, three, four, five, Quarter six and then slowing down the pace of turn a little till you head down to 10 and 11. Out of corner 12 into 13 and 14. Really important crossover because that sends you on the long straight down to turn 15. Lots of taps down the wall happening throughout the weekend. And then over the outrun, dropping back down into 16, climbing now to the finish line. Track record held by Johannes Lochner, set yesterday in heat one with Christian Rasp. They led after the first heat, but were overhauled in the end by Francesco Friedrich, who raced to his third win on this track. He won both races in the season openers in the 18-19 season. And finished second in the one race he contested last year. So there is Francesco, big Torsten with his back to us. And he will go off right about in the middle of our field. Great view there of the highly polished running surface of these runners. Friction is not your friend. Nine degrees, the reference runner. It is a warm morning, a warm afternoon now, 6.3 degrees. But that temperature will drop. It's pretty windy as well. So it doesn't feel quite so warm when you're in the shadows. Both of our Italian pairs are back. Mattia Variola changing up his brakeman with Alex Pagnini joining him. But Patrick Baumgartner staying with Lorenzo Bilotti. A lot of the larger teams have changed their brakeman. There's Alex Schuller on the right. He'll be going with Francesco Friedrich today. But a number of the smaller nations have essentially a two-man brakeman. So, two Swiss sleds. Mikko folks yesterday finishing in the bronze medal position, a career-high equaling run. The podium yesterday, Francesco Friedrich, the winner, with that man in the middle, Torsten Margis. Johannes Lochner in second place with Christian Rasp. He, too, has been uh, rested for today. Mihai Tentea is the first away. He finished in 12th place yesterday, ahead of Mattia Variola. Oscars Kibermanis, best of the Lat Latvians, was in fifth position. It wasn't Oscars, the double race winner here in February. And Seaman Friedli, Lochner and Friedrich in the middle, tied up with votes. That's the podium from yesterday. Then Dominic Dvorak, Ralph Berchins, and a World Cup rookie making his debut, 25-year-old Latvian Emils Cipulis. That's a great view of the start tower. Ready to get the second race of the weekend underway here at Segulda in Latvia. Race two of the BMW IBSF two-man bobsleigh World Cup. And we start with Romania's Mihai Tentea. 10th and 11th in the two races here last season. Finished 12th yesterday. Second ever World Cup start for Raul Dobre, his brakeman. He's in today as yesterday's pusher gets a rest. So 4.99 start. And they, today, 5.03. So does that mean that the start record is under attack? 
through the upper labyrinth, whipping out a 10 into 11. Ooh, big long skid down to corner 12, needs to get it sorted out for 13. That's the real danger zone. Out of 14, long run to 15. Fairly flat here as well now. And then uphill over the outrun. You see the shades are down to stop the sun melting the ice. And a 50.15, what did he do in the first heat yesterday? A 50.06. So off a faster start, a slower run. A big long skid. Definitely not helping. Mihai had a, a slightly better second heat, as I recall. 50.06 and then 49.97. Ironing out a couple of mistakes. Today making his sixth two-man World Cup start. That was late, wasn't it? Ooh. He was trying to hang it up there and carry the speed. And he nearly carried it over onto his head. So Mihai with one heat done today. Of course, double race weekend for two man this weekend. We stay here next week, so we'll double up again. Mattia Variola next up for Italy, finished 13th yesterday. This is his fifth World Cup as a driver in two man, his 21st because he started as a brakeman. But for Alex Pagnini behind him, the brakeman knew this season this is his first ever race. So 26-year-old Alex Panini, 400-metre runner, recruited to the team during the summer, gets in really quickly. Good stuff, five flat. See how the Chocolate Fiesta's there at the top with the mother and father of all lenses. I guess he's just getting eyeball shots at the start. So Variola just a little behind Mihai Tentea. Variola's only been driving for a couple of seasons. Whoop. Again, that was a little rocky. Second highest speed. So a fraction behind on pace, quite a long way behind on pace, actually. Kilometers an hour down on Mihai Tentea. 50.97. Well, for Variola, he's in the foothills of his driving career. Brakeman was on the brakes very early. Don't get out. Stop, stop, stop. Hold it on the brakes. It may not be much to hold it with, but it's all you have. Good job. So, welcome to the World Cup, Alex Pagnini, the brake man. Very good. A little round of applause there from everybody. Track announcer also letting the uh, track workers know that there was a new boy in the room. I'm not sure if he's a true bobsledder yet, whether he's been bounced on his head by uh, any of the drivers he's been with. Not sure whether he's been only with Matia, but that got a little close. 12.13 and then Matia realizing he was in trouble, hauled it off 13 or 14 rather took the hit rather than using his noggin. Simone Batazzo there, showed the guys what to do with the sled. Next up, Oscar's Kibermanis. Kibermanis in yesterday's race, finishing only sixth. He was the double race winner here in February in the World Cup closer last year and never really looked like anybody else was going to beat him. Change of brake man for him as well. Dove Springs is back on the sled, 25-year-old, in his 15th two-man World Cup race. 491. The start record 480. That is held by Kibermanis with Mads Mignes, who was his brake man yesterday. 1100s up on Mihai Tentea. This is not going to be a sparkling day for Kibermanis. Sun setting in the trees around the track. So it will get colder and fast in the second heat, and maybe they are anticipating that. In the green, but not by a lot. 124.8. The 
123.7 of Tentea. 300s in front of Mihai Tentea. No wonder Sandis Brucis is shaking his head. Well, he knows where he's going. He knows how to drive. He knows how to win here, Kubermans. The BTC Latvia sleds are generally very quick through the air, which leaves you one thing. Either major mistakes that we're not seeing, or they are not getting their runner selection correct for the, for, for the weather. Are they putting too much faith in the forecast or not enough? Little late flop off 14. Ross has got the full racer's haircut, but that's a, that's a real lockdown number one, done it yourself, isn't it? So Kiba Manis stumbles and misfires again. Watching the clock, the Swiss coach, as we get ready to welcome Seaman Friedley to the ice, 29 years old, finished ninth yesterday, crashed out in race one in February while battling for the medals, came back the next day and took a silver. This is fifth two-man World Cup as a driver. Dominic Schlepfer behind him, only his third World Cup start. He raced with Seaman yesterday, 4.98. That's only one hundredth quicker than Mihai Tentea, which shows you how good the Romanians were at the start. Seaman Friedley was a standout brakeman before he started driving. 100th ahead, 101.2, best speed we've seen. That's half a kilometre an hour ahead of Kibermans. Tentea had the best speed there, but one tenth of a click faster. Friedley creeping away, and that was a good exit as well. That really builds the speed. 125.1 to 124.8 to Kibermans, and he moves ahead. That was just a tenth. He added a tenth to his time by coming clean off 14. That's straight to 15. It's nominally downhill, but the sled doesn't really notice. If you're skidding there, you're losing time. So decent looking run for Seaman Friedley. You can see Dominic Schlepfer there buried behind him. So Schlepp for now, the number one choice for Friedley and the two-man. We will find out next weekend if he ends up doing both of those races. He will have had a very busy few days. Dominic, only one World Cup race before this, and that was back in 2017. Top of the track is the man who led the first heat yesterday. There he is, Johannes Lochner, the 30-year-old from Berchtesgaden, ended up with the silver medal. Joined by Eric Franken. Now, this is their first official race together. Eric comes, of course, from the now retired Nico Walter's crew. This is fourth only two man World Cup start, Eric Franke. He did two races in January 2015 and then raced in Samaritz with Nico in January 2017. So it's three years since he's raced a two man in a World Cup. And a 482, there we go, now we're on the money, 200 away from the start record. And when Nico announced his retirement at the end of the World Championships in February, in fact in March, it was no, last day of February, wasn't it? Then uh, suddenly all of his guys were being very studiously talked to by Friedrich, by Lochner. And really good to see Eric Franke with big speed here. 1.13.2, still has the lead over Seaman Friedley. Little skid of 15, only third best speed. And across the line he comes, 49.64. That's more like it, that's shooting for the medals again. So, Hannes Lochner, there he is. Looking happy with that. And Eric Franke, in a different team. I, I don't know if he speaks Bavarian. I guess he's going to have to learn.
Well, nice sink at the start and a good hit for the duo. And that got them very close to the start record. A little away from the outright track record with 1,300s away from that set yesterday. Big height in 15, and maybe that's why he was a little skiddy coming off, but a big smile behind that mask for Hansi Lochner, the leader. Five sleds down, Germany's Johannes Lochner is our leader from Seaman Friedli and Oscar's Kiba Manis. Three wins in four races here in Segulda in Latvia for this man, Francesco Friedrich. Yesterday, another gold medal to start the season. The 30-year-old from Altenburg in his 64th World Cup in two-man now has 27 two-man wins, plus 17 other podiums and a new start record. That's what he said they will be trying to chase today. And they are 300s inside it. So this is Alexander Schuller behind him. Schuller still just 23 late from Francesco, and Schuller will have felt that. It's the sixth race that Alex has had with Francesco. So far, Alex has had five wins, uh, four wins, no, five wins and one, si uh, one silver, so it's in fact his seventh race. The 700s up and only the fourth best speed, not as much as Hansi Lochner had. Little cleaner, same speed as Lochner, should maintain the lead. Three hundredths of a second, we have a race on our hands again. Very good stuff, so 482 to 478. Friedrich and Schiller started 400s quicker, new start record, but they lead by three hundredths. Well, in their five previous races together, they have only not won once. So, Alex Schuller, not really aware what you do if you don't get out of the sled and head straight to the podium. Late here, though, wasn't he? Controls the flop well, but you see the eyes coming up, the heads rocking around, all of that momentum coming out of the sled, digging ice. Sending bodies sideways, he should be firing it off the corner. And that's how coming late off the turn costs you speed. We've had the silver medalist and gold medalist from yesterday. Here is our bronze medalist from our season opener. 17th World Cup two-man start for Mikael Vogt, 23 years old. Yesterday equaled his World Cup best, which was from Lake Placid in January. And behind him again today, his 24-year-old brakeman, Sandro Michel. Tenth two-man start of his career. Sandro, quite some physical specimen. Look at the way they loaded there as well. 496, not as fast as the German sleds, but they get in. And third best escape velocity, 55.5. Friedrich had 56.4, though. That's some um, speed that Alex Schuler can get out of that sled before he loads. But four tenths back. Second highest speed, though, and this is where his race came together yesterday in the second half of the track. Best speed of all. Four tenths of a kilometre an hour quicker than teammate Friedley, who was quickest at that stage, and at the bottom with 124-1. Friedley 125-1. He's in third ahead of Seaman Friedley. So yesterday's podium, Friedrich gold, Lochner silver, Vogt bronze, is currently reinstated. Seaman Friedley lies in fourth. Having a better first run than he did yesterday, I think. Sandra Michel and, and uh, Mikael Vogt drop into their seats absolutely like it's synchronized swimming. Nice work at the start. 4.96 from them, fourth best start, only Kubermans. And the two Germans have outstarted them. 
fourth best start to third at the bottom. Uh, should be a good start from this man as well. 28-year-old from the Czech Republic, Dominic Dvorak. He's got Dominic Suchi behind him. Suchi now 33 years old and a real veteran, a sports instructor in his 19th two-man World Cup race. Dvorak in only his 27th as a driver. So for two-thirds of those, it's been Suchi on the back handles. Suchi has done a lot more, probably not with uh, so much with Dvorak as two-thirds of his career, but he's probably done between a third and a half of Dominic's races. Started with Jan Verber before him, half a second back. And this is potentially a top five run from Dominic Dvorak. His World Cup best was the season, season opener in Segulda two seasons ago, where he finished in fourth position just off the podium. How close will he be today? He's in seventh at the moment. He's only our eighth sled, so he is behind Mihai Tentea. Seventh best speed, nothing like what Tentea had either. At a 50.50, Mihai Tentea. A 50.15. So he's 35 hundreds behind the nearest sled to him at the moment. Tentea still in the top six. We've got two more Latvians to come. We've got Roman Heinrich, and we've got Christoph Harfer and Patrick Baumgartner. But that's not the best run I think you'll see from Dominic Dvorak. There's a lot not going right on that. Hauls it off 14. Has to take the hit. Well, 498, good starting. It's the driving that's not really coming together today or yesterday. Next up, Ralph Berchins finished fifth yesterday. Ended up as the best of our Latvian drivers. He was second best and not behind Oscar's Cubans after the first heat. He has Edgar's Nemer behind him. Two man World Cup debut for the brakeman who is 24 years old. Five four man World Cup races and he raced in the Worlds in Altenburg in four man. Never started an official top flight two-man race. So 491, that's what you need. Get that acceleration out of the blocks. Still 12, 13 hundreds slower than our race leader, Francesco Friedrich. So where is he going to find speed on this track? That seems like the other Lampians was scratching his head a bit yesterday. Four tenths back. This is not going to be a leading run, is it? Might not even be top three, gets a good exit there. Second best speed, here we go. But he's down to fifth on the split times. How much, oh no, six best speeds, that's a shocker. And across the line, fifth position, 50.02. So he's 100 behind Seaman Friedley in fourth. 15 hundreds behind Mikel Vogt in third, and a tenth ahead of his teammate Oscar's Kiwamanis, who's behind him in sixth. I wouldn't say the wheels have completely fallen off for Latvia, but boy, they'll be hoping to improve for next week. This is home ice for these guys. Well, decent start for Ras Berchins and Egas Nemer. The volleyball player hit the break man, but too many mistakes on home ice. That's not helping at all. Third of our German sleds is 28 year old Christoph Harfer's team. Ninth two man World Cup for Christoph. His sixth here in Segulda now in World Cup. And Behind him, 27-year-old Isam Amour, Isam's younger brother Adam, also a brakeman. And his only previous two-man World Cup race. He finished seventh here with Christoph Harper in the season opener in 2018. 4.99 start. 
fourth place yesterday. And that was a career best equaling performance. Fourth and seventh a couple of years ago. Let's see if he can find that again. Eighth best start, he's up to seventh with the fifth best speed. Whoop, a little late. 13 is a treacherous mistress today. 1.14.3, best speed we've seen. Needs 1.25 at the bottom, is very close. Second best speed, he's coming back towards the top five. Fifth place ahead of Perchins. So two Germans, two Swiss, and then the third German sled. And he is not ahead of Berchins, in fact, he is tied with Ralph Berchins. So the top six covered by 41 hundredths of a second with a tie for fifth position. Mendel's tantalizingly close for Christoph Harfer, but not quite close enough. 12th and 4th here last year. Fourth again yesterday. It's starting to become a bit of a thing. In fact, he had a podium finish here in the second race last uh, two seasons ago with Tobias Schneider pushing him. Whoops. So 10 sleds down, three to go. Francesco Friedrich, the narrow leader uh, in the two-horse race for gold, you sense, with Johannes Lochner. And then 36 to 41 hundreds back. That's a very tight battle for bronze. 10 down, three to go in the first heat. Race two of the BMW IBSF. Bobsleigh World Cup for two man. We're at Segulda in Latvia, and this is 30-year-old Frenchman Roman Heinrich. He too stays loyal to yesterday's Brankman, Lionel Lefebvre. Lefebvre now starting his fifth two-man race. 40th two-man start for Roman Heinrich. He's 22nd as a driver. Five dead. They started 5.03 yesterday. Start track is just a little quicker today. I think there's slightly warmer air temperature. Helping to reduce the friction a bit. Tenth best speed, tenth best start, but he is not matching the speed of Mattia Variola, who currently lies in tenth place. Ninth best speed, and creeping into the top ten, Heinrich, long skid off 15, no. Finished 11th yesterday, and he is in ninth at the line. So 50.45 for him. OK, well, it's not so far a brilliant season start for Roman Heinrich. Coming back up on the exit of 14. Little flop onto the straight. Avoids taking too much of a steer or too much of a hit. The long skid, watch the back, walk off 15. It's only a fraction, probably less than a second. Watch as he comes over the brow. Just a little rub down the wall into 16. On the right side. A little too close to the wall. Checks the runners, make sure there's no gouges. We get to our penultimate sled. Patrick Baumgartner of Italy, 26-year-old youth Olympic champion from 2006 in the boys' bobsleigh. He and Lorenzo Bellotti raced together yesterday. Bellotti in his third two-man start today. Baumgartner in his 14th in the World Cup. Former skier in front, former 400 meter runner behind. Lotti running it a long way to the crest. 5.05, trying to give his driver as much acceleration as he can. 12th best start, 11th best escape velocity. It's not always just about the number over the first 50 meter clock. Time 
terms of how much you continue accelerating it makes a difference as well. 10 best speed, he's the 12th fastest sled at the moment, but that might change. Moves up ahead. Off. Yeah, just ahead of Mattia Variola, his teammate. That's the first battle, is to beat the uh, less experienced driver. Turns around, shouts to his brakeman, brakes. 50.49, so 400s behind Roman Heinrich and 100 ahead of Dominic Dvorak. So top 10 run, but again, 9th, 10th, 11th, covered by 500s of a second. Don't expect nothing to change there. Bad looking exit from Baumgartner, but again, back of the sled starts to walk. You can see it just cutting the ice. Despite the rounded profile of the runners and hugely polished, they're carrying a lot of weight. They just dig away at the track. And if they're digging ice out, they're obviously being slowed down as they do so. Final sled then is a pair of World Cup debutants, Enes Tupoulis and Chris Lindenblatt's behind him. Second season for Kapoulis, the driver. He did eight Europa Cup races last year, and uh, Linda Blatz joins the team in the summer. He has not raced a sled in public before, only in training. So here we go. There's a lot of him to get in, isn't there? 26 year old rookie and a 25 year old driver. Sixth best escape velocity, fifth best start, a 493. That's good stuff. Maybe like yesterday, Dubs Kaufmanns, former brakeman turned driver, was the best Latvian in the first heat. Only got the eighth best speed, but at the moment, off a top five start, battling to be with his teammates. Whoa! And Adam Afraid is his undoing. The speed has just gone away. He's looking all right down to 11, 12, 13, 14. And suddenly, 12th at the line, oh, ahead of Mattia Variola. Yeah, well, couldn't possibly repeat what he said there. I don't think he needed much explanation. But well, one mistake, and you have to say, for uh, a driver who's only done one year of Europa Cup, the pressure of performing on the World Cup stage with all the names around you that you watch on telly is one thing. Actually doing it is another. Late here, late off 15, uh, late off 13 rather, and look here, very late off 14, really hauls it off, and that's where the run came apart, I'm afraid. If you're not right in 10, it's gonna be horrible 13 to 14. Corners just come at you so fast in that section, that late, late, latest, and it was almost over. Managed to haul it off, kept them on the runners. He's got work to do. Work to do as well for Francesco Fujic and Alexander Schuller. They were the winners of the first race in the season opening weekend two years ago. Will they be the winners in the second race in the season opener for 2020-2021? Well, as two years ago, he's looking to double up and take a double race win. Has a slender margin. It is really a two horse race, and it is Francesco Frugic versus Hansi Lochner. And then for everyone else, well, 3600s to 5100s back. That's your battle for bronze. Folk and Friedli for Switzerland, Harfer for Germany, Berchins and Kubermann is trying to salvage something out of this weekend for Latvia. Don't forget, Ostas Kubermanns was the double race winner here as recently as February this year. Mihai Tente in eighth, ahead of Roman Heinrich, Patrick Baumgartner, Dominic Dvorak, that's a tight battle. And then Emos Kupulis, ahead of Mattia Variola. So for Kupulis and Variola, all about experience. For the others, it's still trying to move up and battle the guys that a lot of them will have been racing all their careers. Well, that's it for our first heat here in Segulda. The second heat, sleds will be on ice at 4.15 local. 
That is 1415 GMT, wherever you are. Join us then. Meanwhile, from the IBSF TV crew from me, Martin Haven, goodbye for now from Segulda. We'll see you in a little under an hour.